hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to install chat gpt on raspberry os bull size 64 bit version also we are going to add speech recognition and text to speech for chat gpt so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned we are going to install chat gpt but we are going to add speech recognition also text to speech service for our chat gpt so for that i have here red gear comet 7.1 wire over ear headphone with mic this is the microphone which i am going to use for this project and for speaker i have here eyeball uh this this is the bluetooth speaker basically eyeball bluetooth speaker okay so for microphone i have used here this headphone and for bluetooth speaker i have used eyeball bluetooth speaker this one simple so we have done this is what the hardware which i have used for this project now this is the latest raspberry os bull size 64 bit version okay this is latest raspberry os bull size 64 bit version simple so rpi chat gpt this is the repository i will mention the link inside description box you need to simply copy and paste the link inside the browser then go to the code then click on here it will copy the link then simply open terminal and let me make a zoom in here for better clarity okay that's it so now first we need to clone our repository so for that run the command git clone and paste the link which we just copied okay just paste it and just hit enter it will clone our repository now we have our repository if i run the ls command as you can see rpi chat gpt this is what our repository now just run the command cd and our repository name which is rpi chat gpt just clear the screen if i run ls command and let me minimize the browser okay so first we need a packages for our project so for that i have created here a bash script instead of uh, running command one by one so we are going to simply run this bash script which install all the required packages for this project okay so ch mode ch mode 775 and our script name which is install.sh it will give the full permission so if i run the ls command now as you can see here uh, here basically no color this is the white color with install.sh now we provide the full permission 775 now it has a green color as you can see it means we successfully change the permission for our install.sh bash script now simply run the command like this way bash space install.sh this is what our bash script for installing packages just hit enter now it will automatic install all the required packages uh, for this project for chat gpt for speech recognition for text to speech program okay so it will install all the packages which i have already installed so that's it we have done with package installation now what we want to do simply open file manager and go to inside the repository this is what our repository rpi chat gpt and here i have created a text file and inside that text file we have the link link for uh, the website basically open ai website so this is the link just copy the link just copy it and open the browser and paste the link just paste control plus v and hit enter it will open platform.openai.com slash overview so you need to simply copy the link which i have provided inside the text file and paste inside the browser that's it so i have login with my gmail account you need to simply sign up with your gmail account that's it so as you can see i have login with my gmail account now we need a api key for our chat gpt so go here then here at 
as you can see we have here option which is view api keys simply click on that option then i have already created uh, multiple keys as you can see i have already created multiple api keys so simply for this session i am going to create a new api key so click on create new secret key and here you need to mention the name so let's say chat gpt chat gpt with rpi4 you can mention any name and then you will need to simply click on create a secret key and it will create a secret key as you can see it's created a secret key so just copy the key and what we are going to do we are going to simply create here a new file and inside that file we are going to paste our key so here it is as you can see i have created a new file a simple text file open with text editor and here just paste the key which we copied just paste it file and save done that's it so we have successfully copy and paste our api key for chat gpt done now what we are going to do we are going to simply open our thony python ide and then we are going to open uh, our script so just go here menu programming thony and here basically uh, what we are going to do we are going to use here a tick enter button when we press that button uh, we can basically speak means we can able to uh, ask the question for uh, chat gpt then chat gpt will answer that particular query or we can say question and it will basically convert that text into speech simple so this is basically our uh, chat gpt code for chat gpt as you can see import os from ai import audio and speak so this is basically our other python script for speak function and for audio function so ai.py and as you can see here i have import speech recognition as sr and for text to speech convert we use here a gtts python module so here i have created the function for audio means it will uh, it will capture our uh, speech with the help of microphone and it will convert the speech with text using google and then this is the speak function it's basically uh, convert the text into audio simple so this is what ai.py and as i mentioned we have here a tick enter as you can see tk.py so we have here basically a small button with window so from tick enter import all from search in uh, import info that's it then this is how we create a small window and on that window we are going to create a small button so if i run the tk.py and as you can see this is what our tick enter window and this is the button when i click the button basically we we can ask the question for our chat gpt simple so now just go to the volume icon right click and here it is as you can see this is my microphone comet 7.1 which i have connect simple so i have connect the microphone this is the usb microphone i have connect with the raspberry pi 4 now i am going to connect my bluetooth speaker so let me start the bluetooth speaker Power on Bluetooth mode. So as Bearing. you can see, my Bluetooth speaker is started. Now just go here on the Bluetooth logo, add device, and here it will show my eyeball speaker. Okay, so it's searching. As you can see, music play A1. So this is what my eyeball speaker, eyeball Bluetooth speaker, which I want to connect. So just select, click on pair click on ok now go here again on volume logo right click and here i am going to select the music play a1 for speaker okay so just select it connected as you can see i have connected my bluetooth speaker with raspberry pi 4 so friends we have done with our hardware connectivity with raspberry pi 4 now simply we need to paste our key okay so just go here search.py and here it is as you can see i have mentioned the key so here we need to paste our key so just open the file text editor 
and just copy the key copy it open thony and paste the key over here like this way just paste it control plus v and just like this way we need to add here like this way okay as you can see so this is how you need to copy and paste your api key for open ai dot api key here you need to mention your key that's it we have done now simply save the code and just open tk.py and just run the code tk.py it will open our button as you can see this is what our button now simply click on speak now as you can see say something so from here ask any question for chat gpt okay so let me again stop the code and i am going to start the code same tk.py click on speak button who are you i am an intelligent assistant programmed to provide information and assist with tasks as you can see what is open cv open source computer vision library is an open source computer vision and machine learning software library it provides a comprehensive set of functions and algorithms to efficiently process and analyze images and videos open cv is widely used in various domains including robotics augmented reality facial recognition object detection and tracking and much more it supports multiple programming languages such as c++ python java and more with open cv developers can easily incorporate advanced vision capabilities into their applications or projects so now as you can see our question and our answer is completed then the speak button automatic up now again you can click the speak button and you will ask the next query or you can say question for chat gpt so this is how friends you can use a uh, chat gpt with speech recognition and text to speech convert program i hope you would learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye